this is Pat from SEOs.com, and we're here to discuss the Google Gadget Editor, um, which is right there, right about there. Um, essentially, this gadget allows you to create and manipulate files which become gadgets. If that sounds confusing, don't worry. It's very simple what we're going to do, and I'm going to step you all the way through it. It's important to know that you can uh, pause this video as I'm telling you what to do so you can uh, don't get lost or whatever. Um, the first thing I want to highlight on the Google Gadget Editor are the two tabs that you see near the top. One of them says Editor, and one of them says Preview. And what I want you to do now is to uh, press the Preview tab, and what you're going to see is a white screen with two words on it, Hello World. I'll wait while you do that. Let's take a moment and see what we're looking at. Uh, basically, you see the words Hello World in a white square. But um, there's some other things. Uh, if you look above the file, above the white square that is, uh, you'll see a file name and it's called hello.xml. This is actually the file that you're displaying right now. It's what you're seeing. And uh, let's click the editor tab again and go back to the code view. Now all that code, don't worry about it. You don't need to know what it is yet. Uh, we'll discuss that later on in different lessons. But what you do need to notice is that on line five of the code, are the two words, hello world. This is what's being displayed when this file is shown in the preview tab. Go ahead and put your cursor there and add a word. You can, you know, you could write hello big world or hello world elephant or whatever you want. Um, and once you do that, click the preview tab again and see what happens. I'll wait. You should be seeing whatever it is you wrote in that um, space. Um, let's go ahead and save that as a new file. And this is how you do it. You go to the left-hand uh, drop-down menu and choose the option Save As. And once you find that, um, a window will, once you click that, a window will pop up um, and ask you what you want to file, what, what you want to save the file as. Uh, go ahead and save it as tiger.xml. Uh, the only reason we're saving it as that is because we're going to create a Tiger Google Gadget next. Um, but go ahead and do that, and uh, I'll wait. Okay, now that you've saved your file, uh, let's learn how to open files. Basically, you go to the left-hand menu and choose the option Open, and a window will pop up with that list of files that you have on your account. Um, go ahead and find Tiger.xml, the file we just made, and double-click that, and it'll open up. Now, I want to explain a little bit about what this is. This is essentially your own host, your own server um, that Google is providing you. And as we've just illustrated, you, were, you changed the file, you saved it as a different name, and now you've opened it up. Um, and these are all the basic functions of what a web server has. So that is one of the more neat things about this gadget. Not only can you kind of preview the gadget and manipulate the code and see how it changes things, you can actually save your files and host them. These files are actually um, out there live on the net. And a way to illustrate this is when you look um, at the file name, which is above, which is which is near the top of the gadget at on the right hand side. Yours should now be tiger.xml. Um, if you click that, a new window will open, and it'll actually be the file that you created. It'll just look like code right now, so it's not, um, so you probably won't <laughs> know what it means. But the important thing is that it is a file. It is live on the internet. So it's, it's pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and go to the next step. We're going to, uh, we're going to make that tiger gadget now. Now right below me in, in the, in this video, like, like right there somewhere, there is a thing that says Git Tiger. And before you click on that, I'm going to show you, I want to tell you what we're going to do. Uh, basically, that is just a link to a text file. And that text file has like a little snippet of code. It's uh, not really important if you know what the code means right now. Um, all it is, it's just, it's just a little snippet, and it's similar to things that you'll find all over the web. For example, uh, YouTube videos, if you've ever noticed, you can, uh, it has a choice like embed this or something. If you've ever been on the net somewhere and seen that, this is what it's all about. Um, you can take any type of snippet of code and put it 
in the place of hello world um, and it will display whatever that content is that you have okay. embedded. So you click the link now and um, copy that, um, copy the code that you see. Just copy all the text that you see on that file. Come back to the editor and you will uh, click the editor tab and replace the whatever you wrote in line five with the code that we just copied. And once you've done that, click the preview tab and see what happens. Okay, uh, once you click the preview tab, you should see a tiger on your screen and congratulations, you just made your first gadget. Um, but now we need to save it. Why don't you click the editor tab now and go to the left hand menu and choose the option save. And once you click that, it'll just automatically save your file. And now this file is going to be accessible to you whenever you are logged into your Google account. Um, and that ends today's lesson. Hopefully we went over the basic uh, features of the Google Gadget Editor and what you can do with it. Um, our next lesson will go into the code a little bit. It'll still be very simple, don't worry. And it's going to be doing, uh, we're going to do some more things with this file, with the tiger.xml file. And until then, I will see you later. Oh, and it's worth noting that throughout this tutorial, we're going to be adding these iGoogle tabs. Um, if you look above me, um, near the top of your page, uh, you're going to see a set of tabs um, on iGoogle. And the one we're in now is called uh, GGE. And next to the letters GGE, um, is upside down triangle, a drop down menu. You can click that and you'll see some choices there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and delete this tab because you've learned about it and you now know what the Google Gadget Editor is and you don't need this tab anymore. So let's go ahead and click that, choose the option delete this tab and uh, click that and I'll be gone. It's worth noting that once you do that, you won't see me anymore, so bye bye.